So my name is Raymond, uh, Raymond Suze. I'm from uh, Alberta, uh, Samson Cree Nation Reserve. Been living in uh, Ottawa for the last uh, 10 years, 11 years now. Yeah, I, I guess I kind of stumbled into the, the ESP program. I wasn't even aware of it actually. Uh, when I initially came out to Ottawa, I was to uh, continue my studies with Carlton and I had uh, gone to a meeting in, in Ottawa here as uh, Aboriginal Peoples Network meeting and I met one of uh, the students there and uh, we just connected and he uh, he had told me about the ESP program, his name was uh, Frank Gallipo. He just got me uh, interested in it, I tried it, I filled out, you know, went through the application process and stuff like that and uh, managed to get into it. Uh, but I wasn't really sure what uh, what I was in for when I first got into the AES program. I wasn't uh, sure of the whole program or what it was all about. And just kind of jumped into it uh, feet first and uh, went with it. I think it was uh, for myself uh, because I come, from, I came from out west. You know, there was uh, there's not a very strong uh, Aboriginal or even First Nation presence here in Ottawa, so it was it was good to kind of connect with other Aboriginal students and uh, just kind of get back into that uh, that kind of environment. I think that was kind of uh, relaxing for me, kind of experiencing a, a bit of culture shock, I guess. You know, there was a lot of things that are different from the, uh, you know, the east than they are to the west. But uh, going into the program, it was good to see other Aboriginal students there and uh, being able to uh, find that comfort zone, I guess. Well, definitely, definitely. And that, again, that first year is, is crucial. You know, I always found it to be very crucial. And that's one of the things I do tell a lot of uh, students that are going into uh, post-secondary is if you can get past that first year, you'll be okay. Because you've already gone through that uh, struggle with getting past yourself, basically, and just settling into the idea of uh, academia and uh, sitting down to a lot of, you know, uh, you know the requirements, you know, sitting down to uh, just a whole different lifestyle, you know, uh, dedicating your time specifically to your studies, thinking within within the box, you know, and just. It's, it's a different life, you know, it's, it's a totally different uh, mindset altogether. Uh, like I said, I had, I had my four children here with me, so it was, uh, I was working a lot while I was trying to uh, do my studies. I think I had three jobs at the time, uh, working contract. There were some milestones, major milestones for me, you know, in my, my studies. I think the biggest one was uh, getting to the point where I couldn't provide, I didn't feel I could provide adequately for myself or my kids at that time. And I think the biggest one was going into a grocery store one day just to get a, a bag of sugar and uh, having to count my change and then coming up short, not having enough. That was, uh, you know, a very humbling experience for myself. But, it, it was something, you know, it was an instance that happened that's really helped shape me and mold me uh, because, you know, I came out of that, you know, wanting to, uh, to strive and work a little harder, you know, and realizing the, the sacrifice that, you know, I had uh, taken on and not only myself but my kids, you know, for that uh, higher learning, I guess better life, but uh, a number of struggles, you know, <clears throat> it was just, just uh, found it very hard for me to um, to provide for my kids through that first year with the, the, the amount of funding that was provided, given to me, you know, it was totally inadequate. That was one of the biggest things is that the ESP was able to, to help me through, and they, were, they really provided me with a lot of resources with, during that first year. I didn't know how to do anything because I just came, you know, straight from the res, and you know, into the city, into you know, just decided one day I want to go back to school. Didn't know 
how to find a lot of the resources. You know, and I think that was the big thing is there was that support from the program that you know helped guide us to you know, to get things done. You know, to provide to provide for ourselves. With that, you know, um, I went on and uh, started working for uh, national organizations, and I think that kind of that became priority for me. So, you know, so the priorities kind of shift. And from there, I just kind of moved on to bigger contracts, working for other organizations, and then eventually moving into government. And uh, currently, that's where I'm at now. I'm working with uh, the Adjudication Secretariat with uh, Indian Residential Schools. Even with my studies in, in Carleton, that really helped me to, to work within the environment that I'm in now. You know, dealing specifically with residential schools and some of the the impacts of residential schools. So, you know, taking the human rights courses and uh, doing a lot of reading on the impacts of, you know, First Nations people, Aboriginal people. And it's, uh, it's really helped kind of help me to, uh, to be where I'm at today. Since then, I've, I, uh, I've got two little girls now. So a total of six kids, and uh, doing very well, doing very well for each other. And uh, my uh, partner, she's completed her master's program, and it's just uh, that level of support, you know, has been there, you know, is there for us now, for my wife, my my kids, and uh, we know what it takes to to get past that, to get past a lot of those obstacles, a lot of those. Uh, Anxieties. I was one of these big complainers. I think uh, I I was I was used to a certain having things a certain way, and I think that was because of my uh, just my life experiences. I think coming in from uh, managing you know entertainers, and knowing exactly what I wanted and how things should be done, and uh, just knowing. Who I am and where I come from. You know, I think uh, with that, I think uh, I came with came in with uh, a lot of prejudice, I guess, or maybe uh, I just wanted things a certain way. You know? And when I seen that uh, the support wasn't there, or because there was so much change happening within that first year with us. The Aboriginal Centre being taken down from the, I think it was the 27th floor or 21st floor or something like that, down to the tunnels, you know, there was a lot of transition, there was a lot happening and just uh, wanting to speak up and wanting to, uh, to stand up to a lot of those changes, not knowing full well what they were, but just knowing that, hey, we, why are we getting pushed around here, why are, you know, why are we uh, getting pushed into the, the tunnels kind of thing. And, uh, just, uh, just, just wanting things, uh, expecting a certain uh, level from the program. I think it's a great program, you know, in, in the sense that it creates an environment for First Nations people, First Nations students. There, you know, we've in the first year that it, that it's, it had started, you know, we had looked at a number of areas where they can expand on uh, a lot of support, you know, and I think. Over the years, you've seen the program really grow, and uh, being able to provide a lot of those resources for the students, you know, so creating that environment because it is it's a it's, it's a huge sacrifice for uh, you know in my in my opinion you know for the students to take on you know to go back to or even to continue on to a higher level of education. You know, the AESP program creates that environment. It's, it's it's a great program where you can come in and, and the support is there. I think the best one is if you, if the students can get through the first year, you know they'll be okay. And that's the beauty of this program is it helps a lot of the students get through that first year. And uh, a lot of resources, a lot of people who care about. Uh, the program enough to, to provide those resources and that support for uh, the students. I think, uh, 
the program can go a long way, and I think it could uh, even expand, you know, into something bigger and better.